Alright guys, I'm at the computer now and as you can see, oh got a lot of yellow guys. Okay, a lot of yellow. Now let's go uh, we're really interested in the PCM because the check engine light is on. I can say she just had this thing in another shop. Oh P0345 Camshaft position sensors bank set the same head that they put the phasers on guys. It's stored, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, oh wow. All right, so I'm gonna have to pull that valve cover off and see that they put the phase on right. Pretty much, uh, it's it only go on one way, so there's really no way you can get it wrong. Oh wow. Okay, I don't know, I have to go. I have to remove that valve cover. Let's take a look inside the TCM, all right, because it stopped pulling. Oh, U1424, implausible engine torque. Okay, guys, yes, this is pointing directly toward VVT. Okay, yes, VVT will have uh, your vacuum throw off because that affects timing, guys. So they pretty much relate it. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to, again, uh, pull that valve cover off. I'm going to take pull that valve cover off. This is on bank two, sensor one. Um, now, it's called a camshaft position sensor, so from the look of a repair order or the receipt, they replaced the cam sensor. I meant cam sensor position sensor. They replaced the cam sensor and that phaser. I wonder did they do both or just one? I don't know, but she's pretty upset. Don't want to take it back. This is the thing, guys. When y'all take y'all cars to these places, and then you complain and say, I ain't never going back down. You have, in essence, let them get away with getting over on you. I'm sure you're obligated. They will recheck your car for nothing. But I guess you can be so far scarred to where you don't want to see them again. I don't know. But it's going to end up costing you more money because, you know, I can't do it for free, even though we're relatives. Right? My, that wouldn't sit well. It depends on how simple it is. So. But to get started, I'm going to have to remove this valve cover, guys. I'm going to have to take the valve cover off and take a look. So nothing else left to do but to remove the valve cover so I can get a closer look because this is a VVT issue. All right, that is one of the things. Yes, a cam phaser will cause that cam that cam uh, position sensor code to set. Yes, don't get me wrong, but that's typically not the problem. I have yet to find a bad cam sensor now in some cases Chrysler will make you swap back and forth to see if the code come back but that's not the kind of issue we dealing with guys so I got work to do let me get this intake off guys stay tuned All right, guys, real quick, as you can see, I got the valve cover off. And uh, what I'm looking for, well, it's not a ticker, so I ain't really looking for broken rocker arms. But remember, guys, we got the P0345. Now, that simply stands for Bank 2 Exhaust Cam. 0345 is the exhaust cam on Bank 2. This is Bank 2, and this is the exhaust cam. So we got a problem with this. Okay, now from looking at this, guys, the phasers are new, okay, and they're OEM. Okay, had they been aftermarket or something like that, no, 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 that would have been the first thing I'd recommend before I do anything get those junky cam phasers out. But because they are new, okay, so yeah, I won't bother those. But a couple things of importance I want to go through um, right now, I want y'all to be aware of the importance. These two screws under this, um, under these phasers, these are oil galley plugs, but they're screwed in. Okay, if they are loose, yes, they could disrupt uh, VVT operation. Okay, keep in mind, guys, uh, this system is totally dependent on the correct level amount of oil. Okay, so 
and quite frankly, that be should be one of the first thing you check is the oil level. This car has a correct amount of oil in it. Okay, so anything that will disrupt oil pressure <laughs> can cause that cold. Uh, from the oil filter all the way to the oil pump, all the way to the cam phasers to the actual cam. To keep in mind, that was a cam shaft cold. All right. Now, like I say, every time I take a phaser off, I always make sure these tight. And actually, this one here was loose. And even this one loose, guys. So, yes, this could, this could very well be their problem. These cannot be loose. I had one one time. It was hand tight, guys. You can actually turn it off with your hand. Now, to get a good bite on it, you really need to remove the cam phasers. Okay? But uh, if I can get both of these tight, I want to make sure every time I remove any Every time I remove the valve cover, guys, I'm checking those bolts. They are very important, okay? Because, like I say, uh, if they're loose and allowing pressure to go through these rail and escape, and which will cause, which will disrupt oil pressure, yes, that will cause all kinds of crazy VVT camshaft colds, all right? So, I will make sure. Some guys, they even take them off and put Loctite on them. Yeah, I went almost a quarter turn on that, and that happens to be the exhaust on the exhaust side so that very well could have been a problem but i want you guys to understand how important those oil galley plugs are also since we're dealing with uh camshaft sensor on bank two exhaust these uh tone wheels are very important now guys i i did an upload of the video a while back actually about two or three weeks ago y'all can check it out right here talk about a, a special tool i found that tool or uh, instructor introduced me to that tool at the training center I was at last week. Yes, there's a tool that you can tell if this wheel, tone wheel, is out of place. From my understanding, they're starting to walk off. Over time, this car got a hundred and some thousand miles. They will walk, but still a, a feel to be tight. Okay, it's pressed on here, guys, so it's nothing. If, if that is loose, you merely need a complete camshaft at that point. But you can't eyeball this stuff, and you can try to grab it and feel it and see if you feel any play. Any play, guys, it's time for a camshaft. This one don't have any play. I will clean all of this off. Uh, anytime you see a little powder shaving on here, this car once had rocker arm problems and somebody likely done fixed it. Uh, so, yes, tone wheel, oil galley plugs, the actual cam phaser, all that could be the reason why you're losing oil pressure and can cause camshaft codes to set. All right, so I'm going to make sure... I think she just had an oil change. That could be the problem. You just never know, guys. So, But, yes, this oil galley plug was loose. Uh, I don't have the two. I'm going to be honest. I will order me one and get me one because I will need one of my own. I will even order the uh, oil pressure tester, too. It goes on top of here. That's the best way to check oil pressure on this engine because that sending unit is tucked down in there. So you can't get a gauge on it. That's a special tool for that. I got that coming. I got all that coming. But for now, just want to go over with you guys um, what you should look out for. In the event you have camshaft position codes and torque management code. Because all of that could disrupt timing. All right. Yes. Timing. All level. Very important to any variable valve train uh, VVT setup system. Okay. So keep that in mind, guys. That's all I have. Uh, no sense in me still filming this. Uh, I got a, only got a certain length of time I can be in his shop. He got things to do. I really can't tie up one of his lifts. We only got two lifts over here, guys. So we have to be mindful of the importance of if another car come in, or if we have one outside, they have to get in, get it worked on, and get it out. So we pretty much in and out, in and out. All right, Brothers Motors. That's why I bring most of my, most of my so-called side work. Uh, I don't know if this is called a side job. This could be considered a side job. Um, it's a friend of mine's, a relative slash friend of mine. So, uh, camshaft's new, so I'm not going to beat them up about this because uh, it, ha it has to be in timing because it drives without any problem, just that code set. All right, so let's get these oil galley plugs tightened up, and uh, we're going to we're gonna call it a day, guys. I'm going to wrap all of this up. That's all I have. Thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video